Ever wondered why some people can't ascend the wealth ladder? Hold tight, because we're about to embark on a riveting voyage exploring the binge-watching trap. Welcome back to Wealth Minds Elite, the place where we redefine success one elite mind at a time. Here's a small taste of what's to come. The first trap will have you reaching for the remote. Indeed, you interpreted it correctly. Our first halt is at the territory of excessive TV watching. While there's no harm in a bit of relaxation, when the television becomes your primary companion, we encounter an issue. Look at it from this perspective. Each hour spent in front of the TV is an hour not devoted to generating wealth. It's an hour that isn't being utilized to learn, evolve, strategize, or construct. Whereas the affluent are investing their time in reading, learning, strategizing, and developing passive income streams, the less fortunate are often seen this invaluable resource hypnotized by the television. The ones who thrive comprehend that this is most precious asset. They exploit it judiciously. They operate it fruitfully. So, elite minds, reduce your TV consumption and create space for wealth amplification. Welcome to the fast food fallacy. In today's discussion, we delve into the misconception that fast food is a wallet-friendly choice. The hidden truth reveals the significant toll it inflicts on our well-being. The inevitable deterioration of health can lead to escalated medical bills and a dip in productivity. Obstacles in your wealth creation journey. Contrastingly, wealthy individuals prioritize nutrition, recognizing that a healthy body and mind are the keys to success. They channel their resources into balanced meals, maintaining their energy and focus, always ready to grasp wealth-building opportunities. Let's change our perspective and see health as an investment rather than an expense. The allure of fast food as a quick, cheap fix is deceptive. Its long-term cost can outweigh your initial expectations. Remember, elite minds, your health is your wealth. Oh, and while we're on it, subscribing to our channel is a healthier choice than fast food. And guess what? It's free. The Discount Dilemma. Let's explore this. It's a common pattern to see individuals' financial challenges often gravitating towards sale items. It seems like a clever strategy on the surface, doesn't it? Save where you can. However, such a habit often indicates financial strains. Now, consider the affluent. They don't hesitate to invest in quality. It's not about ostentation or impressing others, but recognizing the worth of long-term investments. A meticulously constructed, full-priced item tends to outlive its cheaper alternatives, leading to savings in the long run. This principle goes beyond mere products. It's about investing in quality experiences, quality relationships, and above all, quality time. By focusing on quality, the wealthy not only experience a superior lifestyle, but also display their financial prosperity to the world. So here's a thought. Invest in quality, elite minds, and let your financial success mirror this investment. Transitioning to the topic of the late riser's loss. It's a widely accepted belief that the early bird gets the worm. This is especially true when it comes to wealth. The tranquil, untroubled hours of dawn often prove to be the most productive, providing a serene and distraction-free environment for planning, strategizing, and setting the pace for the day. Successful people recognize this and make it a point to rise early. This isn't about being a morning person or a night owl. It's about carving out invaluable time for personal growth and wealth-building activities. The hours before the world stirs can be dedicated to learning, brainstorming, or even embarking on a side hustle for passive income. Conversely, late risers often find themselves hurtling through the morning, skipping the most important meal of the day, and kicking off their day on a stressful. So, let's draw inspiration from those who are successful. Rise and shine, elite minds and let the early bird reap the rewards of wealth. The sports screen syndrome. Let's discuss a common leisure activity that individuals from all walks of life seem to enjoy, sports. It's perfectly fine to be an avid fan, but the issue occurs when this interest crosses over into obsession. Instead of focusing on their own success, some individuals get entwined in the victories and setbacks of their preferred teams or sports people. This can morph into a type of escapism allowing them to experience life through the accomplishments of these athletes while sidelining their own aspirations. Sports, like any other form of entertainment, should appreciate it in a balanced manner. 
It's crucial to note that the accomplishments we respect in our sporting heroes are the result of their commitment, effort, and strategic approach. We adopt these same principles in our own lives, particularly when it comes to wealth creation. Now, my elite minds, it's time for you to step up from being just a viewer. Don't merely be a bench warmer, step into the game. Don't merely observe success, be an active participant. Click on the subscribe button and enlist in the Elite Minds League. Stay active in your quest for wealth, not just in front of the sports screen. After all, ever said the only leagues you can join are broadcasted on the sports channel? Let's make wealth creation our new favorite sport. Moving on, we delve into the hygiene hiccup. It might appear like basic knowledge to uphold one's cleanliness, yet surprisingly, some individuals seem to disregard this fundamental aspect. Lack of personal hygiene can be a barrier in both professional and personal spheres, cornerstones of financial prosperity. Imagine making your entrance into a business conference or a job interview, and the initial impression you project is an off-putting odor. This wouldn't just be mortifying, but it could also rob you of potential prospects. The same rule applies to personal connections. Upholding good hygiene is a demonstration of reverence for oneself and others, and it often reflects your self-respect and self-value. Here's an intriguing tidbit for you. Did you know that in yesteryears of Rome, bathing was a communal routine and a symbol of affluence? So let's emulate their practice. Stay spotless, elite minds, in physique and prosperity. The blame game. Now here's a truth bomb for you. Life is a series of choices. The habit of blaming others or external circumstances for one's misfortunes is a common roadblock on the path to financial success. It's easy to point fingers the economy, the government, or even one's upbringing. But in doing so, we relinquish control over our lives, our decisions, our wealth. The wealthy, on the hand, understand that the key to financial freedom lies in taking full responsibility for their actions and their outcomes. They know that every decision Every step is a brick in the mansion of wealth creation. They don't waste time blaming others for their missteps. Instead, they learn, they adapt, they grow. Remember, it's not what happens to us, but how we react to it that matters. Take charge of your life, elite minds, and steer it towards financial freedom. The saving slip up. This is a massive issue. Many of us are trapped in the endless cycle of living from paycheck to paycheck, leaving no room for savings. We often find ourselves using up every penny we make, leaving no backup for sudden expenditures or future investments. This is a treacherous path, folks, and it's a behavior that can deter us from accumulating wealth. Brace yourselves, because I'm about to drop some knowledge. Bear in mind, though, with great knowledge comes great accountability. Thus, the second you hear this, I want you to tap that subscribe button as if it's the last slice of pizza at a bash. On the other hand, those who have achieved monetary independence comprehend the significance of establishing a financial protection net. They save diligently and invest prudently, creating passive income sources that shield them from any monetary surprises. They are aware that every dollar saved today is a stride towards their millionaire aspirations for tomorrow. So if you find yourself ensnared in this cycle, it's time to break out. Start saving, irrespective of how trivial the amount may appear. Over time, these small savings can aggregate into a substantial nest egg. Save and invest elite minds. That's the road to becoming a millionaire. And don't the road to becoming a millionaire is equally coated with the gold of the subscribe button. So if you haven't done it yet, smack that button like it's a pinata overflowing with potential wealth until we meet again Keep saving and keep subscribing. The credit conundrum. Now, credit and loans are not intrinsically bad. They can be powerful tools when used correctly. However, misusing these financial aids can be a roadblock in the journey to financial freedom. Picture this. You're handed a credit card, pass to buy now and pay later. It's tempting to splurge on unnecessary items, is it not? But bear in mind, every swipe of that card is a debt that you're obligated to repay. Falling into this trap can hinder your journey to wealth accumulation, ensnaring you in a vicious cycle of debt. On the contrary, the affluent utilize credit strategically. They employ it to make investments that yield passive income, thereby fortifying their financial standing. They comprehend that credit is a tool, not a crutch. 
Therefore, the secret lies in using credit judiciously. Let it serve as a stepping stone, not a stumbling block, on your voyage to wealth creation. Harness credit prudently, elite minds, and let it be a tool for wealth creation. The early parenthood pitfall. It's a joyous occasion to welcome new life into the world, but it's also a significant financial responsibility. Those who don't give this due consideration can find their wealth building goals hindered. Children come with numerous expenses, from daily necessities like food and clothing, to long-term commitments like education and healthcare. One often overlooked aspect is the opportunity cost. Time and resources spent raising children could otherwise be invested in wealth creation activities. This doesn't mean you shouldn't have children, but rather, it's about planning. The wealthy, in contrast, tend to plan their families. They consider the financial implications and ensure they have the means to provide for their children without compromising their financial goals. This means they love their children any less, but rather, they understand the importance of financial stability in providing a secure future. Plan wisely, elite minds, for every decision impacts your journey to financial freedom. The checkup choke is a common tendency we all have. It's like owning a luxury car but never getting it serviced. Imagine that over time unnoticed problems could cause a major breakdown. It's the with our bodies, our utmost precious vehicles. Neglecting regular medical checkups leads to the potential for overlooked health issues with long-term consequences. Remember, health is indeed wealth. It forms the concrete foundation for the mansion of success. The affluent comprehend this. They put their health first and ensure routine medical checkups. It's not just about the present, it's about safeguarding the future. Regular enable early detection of potential health issues, ensuring they can be effectively managed or even completely avoided. In the game of wealth creation, those who prioritize their health are the ones who keep running the race longer, harvesting the fruits of their investments. Keep in mind, a healthy body is home to a wealthy mind. Keep up with your health checks, elite minds, for a healthy body is a haven for a wealthy mind. The pre-earning expenditure, consider this situation. You've spotted a tantalizing online and are itching to possess it. Yet your paycheck hasn't hit your account, but this doesn't deter you from making the purchase. What if you keep doing this? This is what we term premature expenditure, a quick route to financial insecurity. It's akin to having dessert prior to the main course, momentarily satisfying, but leaving you hungry and discontent in the long run. This is a trap the financially disciplined affluent evade. They grasp the importance of earning spending. They recognize that financial autonomy stems from wealth generation, not wealth squandering. Here's an interesting tidbit for you. Are you aware that an estimated third of lottery winners end up bankrupt? This is usually due to poor financial practices, like spending money before earning it. Hence, elite minds, strive to earn before spending and let your financial literacy illuminate. The poor company problem is 13th on our list. It's a common observation that your average reflects the five people you interact with the most. Being consistently in the company of those who harbor limiting beliefs can significantly impede our journey towards financial independence. It's not about people due to their financial status, but acknowledging the impact of mindset and outlook on our life decisions. Establishing wealth is more than just hoarding money. It necessitates nurturing a wealthy and successful mindset. Those who have achieved financial prosperity often associate themselves with others who have similar aspirations, the same motivation, and the same comprehension of wealth secrets. They motivate each other, provoke each other, and assist each other in growth. This in financial literacy tells us to identify and foster relationships with individuals who can amplify your comprehension of wealth generation. Surround yourself with success and elite minds, for you reflect the company you keep. The idea implementation issue is a common trait among those who are not financially successful. They are usually filled ideas that could potentially lead to wealth creation, but they hesitate, procrastinate, or simply abandon these ideas. It's akin to being handed a golden ticket and then forgetting to attend the show. On the contrary, the wealthy understand the importance of action and perseverance in achieving success. They are aware that an idea, regardless of how revolutionary it may be, is useless without proper execution. These individuals take their ideas seriously, nurture them, and ensure they come to fruition. 
They understand that each idea is a potential seed of wealth, and they tend to their garden of wealth with diligence and consistency. So don't just dream, don't just plan. Take action, execute, persevere. Remember, ideas are like shooting stars. They're mesmerizing, inspiring, but it's only those who seize them that can harness their power. Make your ideas a reality, elite minds, for ideas are the seeds of wealth. The help-dependent habit is the last one we'll discuss. Now, to be clear, there's no harm in seeking guidance or mentorship. However, the problem arises when an individual sits back, relying on others to carry the weight. This habit can severely impede one's journey toward wealth creation. The wealthy, on the contrary, grasp the significance of personal responsibility. They're aware that to attain financial success, they need to take the helm. They're not afraid to put in the effort and do what needs to be done, waiting for handouts or miracles their style. Instead, they create their own opportunities. This principle applies not only to financial wealth, but to all facets of wealth in life. It's about the realization that the tools to unlock the wealth are in your hands. And don't forget, the journey to the top may be a solitary one, but the view is well worth it. Embrace responsibility, elite minds, and climb your own ladder to financial freedom. We've journeyed through 15 habits that can keep people from achieving financial freedom and building wealth. Each one of these habits, from excessive TV watching to blaming others for misfortunes, can act as a barrier to financial success. First, we explored how spending too much time television can rob us of valuable time that could be used more productively. Then, we looked at the impact of consuming fast food and neglecting personal health, a habit that can drain resources and energy. We delved into the habit of buying discounted clothes and products, a sign of financial constraints that contrasts with the rich's tendency to invest in quality. Waking up late and missing opportunities to seize the day was another habit we discussed, a stark contrast to successful individuals who start their days early. The obsession with sports as a form of escapism, rather than actively engaging in personal success, can also hold back wealth creation. Similarly, neglecting personal hygiene can impact both professional and personal relationships. We then examined the habit of blaming others for misfortunes and the lack of responsibility this signals, which is at odds with the rich's understanding of personal accountability. This was followed by a look at the damaging habit of failing to save money and living paycheck to paycheck, a situation the rich avoid by building financial safety nets, misuse of credit and loans, having children early, and often without considering the financial burden and skipping regular medical checkups were other habits we discussed. These actions contrast with the rich's strategic use of credit for investment, careful family planning, and prioritization of regular healthcare. We also touched on the habit of spending money before earning it, surrounding oneself with others who share limiting beliefs, failing to follow through on ideas, and expecting others to help reach the top. Each of these habits can hinder financial success and wealth building. Break these elite minds and let the reflective journey to financial success begin. Remember, achieving financial freedom requires active participation and a willingness to change. The road to wealth creation is not an easy one, but it's certainly worth the journey. Now that you know the habits that are keeping you from activating your actions, what will you do about it? You're not just spectators in this magnificent performance of life, but active players. You've got the power to decide your route, to learn, unlearn, and relearn. So let's engage in a drop your thoughts in the comments section below. We're keen to know about your journey, your obstacles, and your triumphs. This is a community of thinkers and doers, so let's learn from each other. If you found some value in this video, alert the universe. Smash that like button, share it with your companions and kin, and let's disseminate the wisdom. Don't overlook to subscribe to our channel. We've got more perceptive content making its way to you, devised to steer you on your journey to action activation. Your thoughts, elite minds, and remember, your journey to action activation begins now. Like share and subscribe, and let's navigate this pathway together.